Tonight, authorities in England continue to investigate the death of a hockey player who got his start right here in Minnesota. As we've reported earlier this week, Adam Johnson died on Saturday after his neck was cut by a skate in a brutal collision during a game. Tonight, our Bab Santos spoke with his family as they grapple with the young man's sudden passing. And Randy and Kelsey, that family is adamant. They'd like to see neck guard protective equipment mandated across this sport. It's a change already happening in the UK in the wake of Adam's death, and now they'd like to see it happen here at home as well. Adam was a really uh, gentle, kind-hearted soul. Born into a hockey family in Hibbing, Adam Johnson made a name for himself on the ice, sending his Minnesota Duluth team to the 2017 Frozen Four. Lafferty is in, rips his shot, stop for the rebound, Johnson, he scores! When scoring this goal against the Minnesota Wild during a stint with the Pittsburgh Penguins. More recently, the game had taken him overseas to the Nottingham Panthers of England's elite ice hockey league. But his family says he was preparing to step away from the game, propose to his girlfriend, and enter the next stage of life, perhaps a career in finance, when his life abruptly ended last Saturday. Everybody needs to know he was more than just a hockey player. <laughs> you know, he was, he meant the world to so many people, and we're finding out. The 29-year-old passed away after a brutal collision on the ice with an opponent, a defender's ice skate slashing his neck open in a moment we're choosing not to show on television. Over the phone on Wednesday, Adam's aunt, Carrie Johnson, said here in Minnesota, most of Adam's family watched that devastating moment live on TV as it happened. We knew right away. And being so far away, you're, you're just kind of helpless. There's nothing you can do. The family waited for hours until they say one of Adam's teammates used his phone to call them. He'd been rushed to a hospital and into surgery, but the wound was too extensive and doctors were unable to save his life. Now, the Johnsons are waiting for Adam's body to return to the United States by the end of the week as they plan a funeral and celebration of life next Monday at the Hibbing Memorial Building. All the while, they're calling for a proper investigation into the collision overseas and the player involved. From my understanding, he's very, very distraught. Um, I'm sure he didn't intend to kill Adam, but it happened. Tonight, Adam's aunt says the family is also starting a foundation in his name to help Hibbing's hockey youth and, among other things, promote neck guards. We have a link to that foundation at fox9.com. Randy, Kelsey, 